Hi everyone, it's been a really busy week at CCA and I thought I'd share some of our highlights with you. There's three things in particular. The first thing was we hosted the latest in our series of People in HR Forum here at the uh, Glasgow office. It was a packed agenda, lots of leading brands from all sectors, financial, insurance, um, retail, mobile, basically every sector. Um, and the one thing they all had in common was that they're really passionate about building um, building better uh, human conversations, if you like, um, and trying to uh, keep up and keep up with the pace of the new digital skills agenda. So it was a really interesting debate. We had some fantastic presentations uh, from our 2018 award winners, uh, CCA Excellence Awards from Standard Life and from Coventry. And from Standard Life, we had a really interesting take on building uh, training, coaching and development around dealing properly with vulnerability. Not just paying lip service to it, but actually building real concrete training and coaching based on evidence. Uh, a lot of research went into it. And the really interesting piece about it was building a process around making sure that whatever they delivered was measurable um, and that they had the buy-in from the very top. So the comment really was, what do you need to succeed in this area? Which was a you know, really great testament from um, getting that buy-in. So that was a great uh, case study to hear and created lots of interest and in fact uh, a platform for further discussion around this really important area. We heard from Coventry uh, about uh, who won the Great Places to Work and why did they win it, uh, lots and lots of evidence. Um, basically, Great Place to Work is built into the DNA of the Coventry Building Society and that became very evident when we had our presentation from Chris. It was really all around uh, how over the many years they've built up a bank of trust uh, so there's lots of great communication, nothing really new in terms of uh, 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 new approaches but lots of evidence of the need to be consistent when you're building up a good employee relationship uh, culture in your organisation. So lots of learning from that. It was um, a very, very uh, strong award winner, a leader in our sector and one from which we can learn lots. So that was, that was the, the forum, it's a, one of our most popular things that we do here actually, it's growing in, in uh, number, um, it's growing in popularity and in fact we're looking at uh, formalising some of that and importing some of the learnings into the, the global standard, so that's great. This week was an exciting week, it was the first uh, company to be successfully accredited with the new version of the global standard, uh, CalMac Ferries. Uh, uh, interesting organisation, a uh, huge growth um, in the last few years and a lot more growth predicted to follow. Uh, dealing with 500 ferry sailings a day in the in the Western Isles, west of Scotland. Um, Record-breaking numbers in terms of growth, uh, some 130 odd thousand sailings in a year. Not easy to manage, dealing with everything from huge increases in tourism to being a lifeline to um, having new ferries late and delivered, being at full capacity. Uh, all these issues which of course manifest themselves in uh, the, the, the customer service operations. So there's lots of interesting learnings from their accreditation. We're delighted and very proud of, of their achievements. They have lots and lots of issues to deal with. Um, nobody's pretending that running any form of travel company today is easy. Um, and scheduling ferries uh, with so many things that can go wrong is difficult. And the key thing there is consistent, good information, constant update and learning from their customer centre and quickly acting on customer voice, if you like. So lots and lots of great learnings from that. We're looking forward to hearing more about it uh, as we share their experiences throughout the year. Our week ended with a Platinum Members Thought Leadership Forum uh, held at Poly in Amsterdam. Uh, the offices there are a flagship accredited centre uh, for IT and customer support for all around the globe. They've also got other centres in Amsterdam, in uh, China and in Mexico. And we're delighted that uh, this operation is an accredited, globally accredited CCA uh, service. Why do people want to go and visit? Why do we go there? We go because it's a really incredible um, view of what the future of work should really look like. 
the whole workspace is managed both economically and, and obviously the whole sound uh, agenda is, is foremost and lots and lots of organisations from across all sectors can learn so much from taking the time just to, to understand how the design has worked. It's not just about the design in terms of the employees, that obviously has a huge impact in terms of the customer experience that happens because the, the work is planned out in a really, really good way. So lots and lots to learn from the, the, the piece there and look forward to sharing those learnings with you. So that's been about it for, for this week. Hardly had time to absorb the, the other news, uh, like the Royal Baby, which was obviously great. And of course, the Liverpool win, which was, was fabulous. And I suppose when we were talking about our HR forum, one of the things that struck around that was just how um, the team effort, even despite the fact they said they didn't have their best scorers on uh, there on the night, it didn't seem to show when they had that amazing win over Barcelona. So lots of learnings there about teamwork for, the, for our uh, HR forum. So I hope you all have a great weekend and speak next week. Thanks.